guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be talking about the DC TV shows. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new, so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So thank you for the support on the recent videos, a few of them have done very well, and I really appreciate that you guys keep on coming back. I did a live stream the other day, thank you for your support to everyone who donated, and you know, took part in the stream. I love streaming, so I kind of want to stream a bit more. So I just wanted to thank you in a video rather than just thanking you on a live stream because it really means the most to me that you support me. So that's through, you know, clicking the join button, becoming a member of the channel, you know, donating via the live streams and the super chats. But really, the most important thing to me is the fact that you guys come back day to day watching all my videos. So thank you guys. You are the best. Let's go ahead and get into this video. So this is part of my new series that I've been doing recently where I ask you guys for questions, topics, ideas and theories and you give me your questions, topics, ideas and theories and then I answer them in videos about once every three days it's been recently. So I'm going to continue doing this throughout the summer because I think it's very intriguing especially when there is a lack of news. Obviously we've had some news recently but not that much and obviously that's going to be on other days but then I've been doing these videos and I've been really enjoying it. It seems like you guys like it as well. So let's go ahead and get into the first question. This comes from Nikola Jankovic on YouTube who asks, Do you think that Supergirl will do a Red Daughter of Krypton, brackets, Red Lantern story on the show now that we have the Green Lantern mythology in the Arrowverse? This is a great question because I've thought about this in the past. I was like, hmm, how are they going to do the Green Lanterns? Like surely at some point because we've had all these teasers to do with Diggle, at one point there was a person who very much so was Hal Jordan who appeared on Arrow just for a brief like little glimpse. We've had references such as back in The Flash Season 2 when Barry went to Earth 2 on the dial of you know the Earth 2 version of Barry. There was Hal on that, like Hal Jordan, so you know there's been lots of references and then in Crisis we had that huge reference to Diggle as Green Lantern potentially that might become a thing in the near future. Obviously we got the Green Lantern show coming on HBO Max which Greg Berlanti is producing and it's been said they're going to be part of the Arrowverse kind of like Stargirl and kind of like Titans like how they're on the edge but they are connected and they can cross over if they want. So this is interesting because I have thought about the Red Lanterns before and I really think they would be a great villain for Supergirl to face off against. Like to have say like three Red Lanterns, one being the main Red Lantern, say they actually do like Atrocitus. If you've read the comics or if you know you've seen these different iterations of Green Lantern such as like on Justice League the animated series. I mean they've popped up quite a lot of places the Red Lanterns. So you know you have the Green Lanterns, you have the different the Sinestro Corps, the Red Lanterns and much more you know all those corps are created via these different emotions that they harness you know like hope, greed and then obviously the Red Lanterns they are hate so that is how they get their power it's derived from that hate within inside them so they are you know optimal villains because they are full of hate and that actually powers them and i think this would be a great match for supergirl because supergirl is all about hope justice and you know the american way and i think if they're facing off against the complete opposite of that that would be perfect and they are you know like outer space villains and you know, what's better than having Supergirl face off against them rather than any of the other characters? Like, Legends is time travel, you've got the Flash, which is, you know, speedster villains and stuff more down to earth. Supergirl is aliens normally. So it's a perfect match, and I really love the Red Lanterns in the comics. So, what do you guys think about that? Do you think Red Lanterns are going to come? You know, the question is mainly in regards to are they going to come? And now that, you know, we've had references to the Green Lanterns in the Arrowverse, do you think it's going to happen? Do you think it's possible? I think it's possible and I think it would be a great thing to happen for Supergirl. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from Marcus Barras on YouTube who asks, What is the main villain for Supergirl Season 6 and how and when is Lex going to be stopped? So I've mentioned this before. I don't actually know who the Season 6 villain of Supergirl is going to be. I don't really have any ideas because they haven't teased towards any new villains. So anything that I, you know, talk about will definitely be, you know, a completely random theory, you know, as in regards to maybe like the Red Lanterns showing up or 
anyone out there honestly could show up. We don't know. But, you know, as in regards to what's happening with Lex, he was supposed to be stopped at the end of the season. So, you know, he would have had like one more episode, then he would have been defeated. Maybe he would have appeared next season in a few episodes or so, you know, in prison or whatever. But it seems like they are probably going to keep Lex around for a bit longer than intended. So I'm saying Lex probably is going to be defeated by, you know, the mid-season finale. That's when I'm going to say, you know, whatever happened with them at the end of the last episode, at the end of the finale, is probably going to be wrapped up. I mean, it could be wrapped up much faster, like at the start of the season. But I'm going to say they're going to keep Lex around for a bit longer because everyone is so interested in Lex. And, you know, I think maybe they can spawn a new villain out of that. But, you know, at the same time, you've got whatever happened with, you know, Gemma at the end of the season when she turned into that, like, psycho demon robot. And she's obviously not dead. So, you know, I'm guessing we're going to figure out what's happening with her. She is very much so different. And we still need to find out who's the higher up at Leviathan and who everyone answered to. Like, I'm guessing that's a thing. But I think what's going to be more important is the Lex stuff going into next season, considering most of Leviathan is gone. So I don't know how interesting or like in the forefront Leviathan is going to be next season. Okay, so moving on to the next question. This comes from Cosmin Matashi on YouTube who asks, Do you think Darkseid will be the big bad for the six to seven part crossover? So I'm guessing you're referencing sort of like the next massive crossover. They've said they're not going to do this this year. They're going to have a small crossover with two shows. Originally, it was supposed to be Batwoman and Superman and Lois, but, you know, we're not sure about that due to what's happening with Batwoman right now. But there will definitely be a smaller crossover with characters from other shows popping up, so no worries about that. But in regards to the next big crossover, which will definitely be the year after, I mean, Darkseid would be a perfect pick. Like, he's the ultimate DC villain, you know, just after the Anti-Monitor. And, you know, we've had the Anti-Monitor, so I guess Darkseid makes sense. I think maybe they would do, like, Apocalypse War and maybe not include Darkseid. I got a feeling they could do that. However, I would love to see Darkseid, but they are using him in the DC Universe right now. So, I don't know how accessible he is because he's going to be in the Snyder Cut version of Justice League. So, I'm guessing, you know, we probably won't be able to see him this year, but maybe in the next year's crossover... And, you know, it could be a massive crossover, like Crisis was. Okay, so the next question is again from Cosmin Matashi, who asks, Will Mia and the Legends play a part in the next crossover? So, yeah, I would say definitely Legends is going to play a part. I think Mia could play a part, but it kind of depends on what the showrunners want and what the story is. If the story warrants it, I think Mia will show up, but for now, I'm not sure. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This comes from Nativia Owens on YouTube who asks, Does Iris gain powers in the season premiere, and how does she escape the Mirrorverse and reunite with her husband? So, I think in the season premiere, what we're going to expect is Iris probably isn't going to have powers, but she's going to be able to see and sort of look at things in the Mirrorverse in like a normal way. Because Eva was hit by Dark Matter, Iris wasn't, so Iris is not a matter, so I don't think she's, like, fully taken control of the Mirrorverse. I think she'll have some insight into what's happening in the Mirrorverse, and maybe she'll be able to, like, look out of the mirrors, maybe send some warning signs. I think it might be those warning signs that, you know, show Barry a way to get into the Mirrorverse, say in the premiere episode, where Iris is going to get out properly. So, I'm not sure about her getting powers, but I think... You know, she's going to be part of the reason why she escapes. She's going to work with Barry in some way. Okay, so let's move on to the next question. This is, will Superman and Lois take place on Argo? And what do you have to say about the show? Are you excited? So, no, this is going to be in Metropolis. We've seen from the poster, they've got, you know, the Daily Planet in the background and everything. So that's going to be a thing happening in Metropolis rather than Argo. Maybe we visit Argo a couple of times or something like that. But as of right now, we don't really know what happened to Argo because, you know, it did get destroyed in Crisis. We don't know if it was restored or not. We'll have to wait and see. Maybe we go to Argo at some point. But in regards to Superman and Lois, the show, I'm super excited. It's obviously a Supergirl spinoff, so I'm really pumped for that because, you know, it's the first Supergirl spinoff we've got. And so I'm super excited and we are going to be covering the show on my channel. So please be sure to stick around 
for that because I can't wait to talk about it more. Okay, so that's about it for this video, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Please be sure to go to the community tab right now if you want your topic, theory, idea, or question to be included in the next video that we do like this. Please be sure to go to that community tab right now and leave that topic, idea, theory, or question, and we will surely get around to it. And even if, you know, you say miss a video and, like, your question is not, you know, included, you can just post it again if it's really good. Like, your question is going to be answered if it's really good. That's what I look for. So, keep sending in them great questions, and thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.